Hi everyone, Guidance over here. Did some of you feels like it feels like lately the energy has been messy and a lot of transformations energy that's going on, especially before the full moon, and that's going on uh, to the full moon actually last full moon, which is like uh, at twenty five probably. That's when my the my very very pinnacles of transformations and downtime of myself going down into the very bottom of myself. That's when things really really uh, oh my god like uh, like it's everything feels lazy and feels so down and feels so tired and feels so chaotic and messy. You know, that's what happened to me. And also, that's uh, it's actually happening before the full moon. It's like one week before the full moon, it's starting from there. During more, during on that day by day and by day, it's getting worse and worse and worse. Actually, with like, like, oh my god, what happened to me? I'm trying to get up with myself and then trying to uh, increasing my energy and my vibes, but. It's always coming back down again. It's always coming back down again. I cannot raising it up, you know, like in my own energy. And it feels like the energy itself, like it's trying to tell me, like, no, you need to go into the bottom. You need to go into the down, down there. You know, like you need going to the hills actually. That's what happened happening with me. That's I actually I didn't realize that it's gonna be a full moon. Uh, soon, in in a matter of like one week actually, in a matter of few days after that, I'm realizing after two days before the full moon, because everyone's on my stream because I'm streaming on Twitch actually before that, people keep telling me about the full moon and I was like, oh, and also they tell me about the eclipse too. That's when things start to come. To my man, wait a minute, is that what happened to me? That's when things start to click into my mind. That's that's answered a lot of reasoning in my mind, like what's going on with me. Because I keep questioning like what happened to me when I'm, I'm being like that before. And then it goes to the full moon, that's when it's getting worse actually. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah, and I just follow and just like uh, let it flow. How that really messy energy that's going on with me, and then at the nights on the full moon, actually at midnight, right after midnight, passing by that full moon, that. D day of the full moons, which means like it goes to twenty six at at midnight. That's when I struck by reality. It's actually yeah, it's going related toward my life, my personal life, like about my love life and my my not only about love life, it's actually about also about other part about my what I need to do in the future and also what I need to do with my YouTube. And making content creation, and then also my productivity, stuff like that. It's come into my mind. Well, most of the time, I was thinking about what's going on with my love life lately, and yeah, it's struck by reality that makes me realize that actually I put my own energy into the wrong place, into the wrong. Choices, because I just got that message. Yeah, I just realized that that's coming everything actually. Oh my god! Now I realized that I got a message that's coming from someone that telling me like, Alvin, you need to to put your energy or choose to the right choices, to the right person, to the right energy, to the right place. Basically, that's the whole thing that she's, tr she's trying to tell me. Only one sentence, but that is actually give me 
a lot of trigger in my mind actually and yeah that's probably a message that's gonna come to me about the full moon actually before and after the full moons and i'm starting to realize like we're gonna go with the solar eclipse right later at 8 april and which means like in, in the prior of like more than one weeks it's around like nine days right now from from today that i'm creating this video actually because i've been thinking about that solar eclipse and i got a message like uh, about my life like about how i'm gonna inv- advance things because i keep questioning about myself and about my life how can i advance in myself about my about this productivity in my life right now because i need to be productive as who i am and choosing my dream and choosing what's the path that i'm currently took right now i always got in my mind me an image about that circles with a black in the middle but also bright in the in the you know like 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 an eclipse like a solar eclipse and it's always got like letter the word letter at solar eclipse solar eclipse i always every time i want i'm thinking about what i need to do next what should i do what what's the step that i should take that's uh i got that image about solar eclipse and i feel like that solar eclipse is not only for me it's not only for my productivity my life my uh my journey my spirituality my business my wealth stuff like that but also it's for everyone it's literally a collective energy that's what's gonna happen because right now the moment that i'm creating in this uh this video there's i mean the gap between the full after the full moon and actually not not me but actually we all of us we, we all of us like passing through this moment right now which is like between the full moon after the full moon i mean and before the eclipse and i feel like this is a kind of like a downtime moment for everyone to rest to be grounded after the transformationals before the full moon because i always got the message that I always got that that feel in my in my life that's 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 what happened with me if you hear something in the beyond that's like a dog in the ground down there <laughs> like having fun with them and with the kids running around a joy so yeah moving on yeah i feel like this is like a downtime moment that's going on right now and later on after the solar eclipse that's when the real thing happens that's when the rising energy is happen i always get the cards because i'm actually a tarot readers i'm even right now i'm opening some tarot actually and it's the oracle actually not not tarot and um, yeah that's that april is really really crucial a key point a key time for everything to advancing into the next space that's what happened that's what i feel that's what's gonna happen later and it will revealing a lot of energy for those people that's like still in the searching of for me like 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 me i'm kind of like in the productivity wealth focusing on that wealth wealth and wealth and productivity 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 produce and produce and produce creativity 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 is gonna boosting that up and i'm gonna get maybe i'm gonna get a lot of ideas letters and i'm gonna starting something new i'm gonna or maybe there's some project that i created before will kicks in you know like like really zooming into the uh where it's supposed to go where it's supposed to reach out 
and then it's actually inviting a lot of opportunity for me and i think that's also apply for everyone not only me the solar eclipse will be the starter only actually it's only a starter it's kind of like a jumper like an amplifiers for everyone to move on to keep going towards their goal of their life towards their their dream their peace their soul searching their transformational because actually i'm still in the in the process of transfer transformationals the last time transformational is actually not the end yet it feels like that because there's a lot of things that I, i'm kind of like asking for for myself for my body for my physical body for my spirituality and it's not the end yet for me and i think that's the same for everyone that still have a some transformational energy and you are kind of like wasting some transformation that's really big too so it's not ending yet everyone you're gonna keep going but i think the transformational is will be much more bigger later after the solar eclipse like it's really the the very very no the foundation is already did though but it's the important things that you need to building up the on the top of the the foundations which is gonna be faster right so rather than you creating the foundations the foundations if you know about the architecture way uh, or the constructions way they always say like making the foundation is like the longest way rather right? than you making what's on top of it so because what's on top of it, it usually is like you know like it has it's already ha it's on designs and then just replicate that and repeating again and again and again and then it's gonna be easy and then it's gonna be faster and there is it's gonna be modular you know well the foundation is not it needs to to see the the field the the, the landscape the what's inside in the undergrounds and then they need to know what's going on over there and they need to follow what they need to do that's why it's consuming a lot of time when you're cutting some foundation to make it a strong foundation especially and yeah i feel like later on from april on especially on 8 april after the solar eclipse on the solar eclipse moving on into the into the next year because it's gonna become to the whole energy for the next years sorry for this whole year not next year on 2024 it will become the very very amplifiers energy after the foundations on these past three months to building up what needs to be access for this our planet because maybe a lot of you guys have heard about news and messages that's actually the world is gonna become as like it's gonna going through a lot of transformationals that's basically what happened right now i think this full moon and the solar eclipse will be the key point so yeah yeah but of course it's not necessary for everyone's gonna gonna feel like it's oh april is my day or oh, april is my month april is it's gonna be my thing you know like it's gonna be my biggest day biggest month for me to advancing myself no it's not for everyone but it's for for some people of you yes it's for some people that's that already feels it and then a lot of doing shadow work especially and they doing their own homework faster than other or the rest people you know of course they will getting faster to to get it like kind of like early bird people you know and for those people that's gonna be nah, april is not my day so or april is not my month you know it's okay because the energy will keep going until april may june july August, September, October, and blah, 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 and until the end of the year. I feel like it's until at the end of the year. Because on 2025 will be new energy that's gonna coming in. And then gonna prepare new energy for what's gonna happen later on 2025. And that's 
And what I feel with this energy of full moon and this solar eclipse later on, which is still not happened yet. But I already got that message and I feel still like get though because I always got the message about April, 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 April. I was like, huh? What do you mean by April? What's so special about April, you know? And I was like, okay. You know, like just, okay, I'm just gonna accept it. And after I get, I'm getting close and we getting close into April. I was understand that, oh, so that's what it means by you mean that April is gonna be something big happening to my life, you know. And after that, to everyone, you know. And after that, to the whole world. And I was like, oh, okay, 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 gotcha. Because I also got like a, a card, like I was just like opening some cards actually, but like talking about the Mother Earth, and also talking about Unquotables too. This Mother Earth and Unquotable means like, uh, it's about grounding, it's about Mother Earth that is gonna be uh, going through transformation and, and, and has like a lot of sacrifices and a lot of a new adjusting of energy and the unquotables too is like telling me like sometimes everything is, can be hard even like that full moon especially for me it was supposed to be really hard but I take it really well and it was heavy by the way that shadow work that down time that's, um, that's happening to, to me um, before the full moon and goes on into the full moon that's really really heavy and I managed through it and then finally yeah I did it and I'm excited what's gonna happen though on April letter oh my god that dog is really loud <laughs> so yeah I'm just gonna like pick one card though yeah two ones it's like like telling you to looking forward towards it what's gonna happen that there's because each of you gonna be different each of you gonna be different process of your spirituality your goal your dream it's depend on where do you wanna go actually so yeah thank you everyone for listening to me and please don't forget to subscribe hit the buttons in the below and like and comment too let me see let me hear what's your thoughts on the comment